Ladies and gentlemen, Gungans and Droids across the galaxy, I am absolutely pumped for today's video. I've been having an absolute blast with the brand new free to play account that we started up in 2021. And it's so crazy how fast the beginning game is when it comes to farming characters and especially legendaries. We already showed you within about a week of playing, you unlock your first legendary Emperor Palpatine. Well, in less than three weeks, give or take, you're going to have Palpatine unlocked. You're going to get Palpatine the six stars like we did yesterday. We are also going to unlock Darth Vader without even trying. And on top of it, we just unlocked our second legendary character on week three grand admiral thrawn and on top of it by sometime uh, towards the end of week three we're gonna have a full seven star team i mean it has been an absolute blast i can't wait to show you an amazing free to play account update that we have lined up for you and i'm gonna give you some tips and tricks if you're someone struggling to unlock thrawn i got you covered baby but first we gotta talk about our sponsor Ladies and gentlemen, Kungans and droids across the galaxy, let me introduce you to our sponsor today, a game that has taken the gaming community by force, AAA quality graphics on a mobile or PC device that is also free to play. Can, can you get out of the way, dude? Seriously. Jeez, you're more annoying than Gary. And that sponsor is Raid Shadow Legends. Feel free to use the links down below in the video description to download the game and get some awesome new play rewards. Just last month in December, Raid Shadow Legends released their biggest update ever, with the main event being Doom Tower. It's a giant tower with 120 floors, a bunch of secret challenge rooms, and 12 difficult bosses to take on. If you want to get a huge head start in Raid, all you have to do is hit the link in the description, and if you are a new player, you'll get your free Void Champion Bulwark. 50 gems, an XP booster, some energy refills, and even an ancient shard as soon as you get in game. All this treasure will be waiting for you right up here, but you gotta be quick because these rewards are only available for the next 30 days. So before we get into the Thrawn tips and tricks more towards the end of the video and you guys can re-watch the fun we had unlocking Thrawn, I gotta say, I've been playing Galaxy Heroes for over five years now and some of the most fun I've been having is starting a brand new free-to-play account with these new shard changes. The beginning end of the game is something like I've never seen before. Getting your first full seven-star team in about three weeks is insane. Unheard of in the past, unless you spent money that quickly. And on top of it, unlocking Palpatine within your first week and getting him to six stars by this time as well. And unlocking Thrawn as well in about three weeks. In less than a month, we have big stuff happening, which was unheard of before all the shard changes that happen where you get shards faster than ever. And of course, we also unlock Darth Vader by the end of week two. And basically, we are gonna have a full Phoenix team. We got basically a very solid Empire team, Papa team, Thrawn, Vader. But today's main highlight is going to be Grand Admiral Thrawn. During our stream yesterday, we got Palpatine up to six stars and we also unlocked Grand Admiral Thrawn with our Phoenix that is more or less the same gear level that we used to unlock Emperor Palpatine by the end of week one. However, we did get Ezra up to gear seven and we finally got access to mods and mods are gonna be incredibly important to unlock Palpatine to six stars and of course, getting ourselves Grand Admiral Thrawn. So this part of the video is gonna be focusing on the strategy and modding tricks to unlock yourselves Grand Admiral Thrawn. I was able to unlock him at level 53, but by the time you unlock mods, you're about ready to get Thrawn. So these mods are also the same mods that I used to get Palpatine to six stars. We use the tenacity set so we can try to resist some shocks and stuns at Emperor Palpatine. And then we had some crit damage that put some massive damage out there. And I don't feel like these are the optimal mods that get Grand Admiral Thrawn, but they work. If you are going to get Grand Admiral Thrawn, I would recommend remodding for a crit chance set, crit damage set, and crit damage up there, offense down there, but we still got the job done. And this guy's going to be responsible for a lot of the damage you're going to be putting out in both the Palpatine event as well as Grand Admiral Thrawn. Zeb is probably one of the most important characters when it comes to fighting off Grand Admiral Thrawn, because we get lots of dazes, we get stuns, we get staggers, very much so like what we want to do for the Emperor Palpatine event. And same thing, in Emperor Palpatine's event, he was so important, even to unlock him at six stars. What I recommend for modding is try to get as much potency as possible, because you want to make sure he lands the stagger, the dazes, and the stuns. So ideally, you want three full potency sets. You want potency sets everywhere. However, I decided to break my last potency set because I had a very good, well, at least in terms of new 
new players. Potency primary right here. So with Zeb, you want to try to get as much potency as possible and try to mod him for some durability such as protection. Hera is so important because her basic applies exposes, which helps us overcome some of the damage deficiencies that I that our team has. So for Harrison Dula, kind of like Zeb, I recommend a full-on potency set. Potency sets everywhere with potency on the primaries where you can, such as the cross down here, and some durability to keep her alive. You want to make sure Ezra, for example, in Emperor Palpatine, when you're trying to get him the six stars, when Palpatine's in the green, you want to have Ezra call in Hera so she can try to apply Expose for you. And with Kanan, we tried to give him as much durability as possible with whatever mods they had laying around. So I went with all health sets and tried to give him health or protection to try to make sure he stays alive as long as possible. For Thrawn, he felt like we didn't quite need him as much as the Emperor Palpatine event. Since Palpatine has a lot of AoE capabilities that hits everybody, you want to get those counterattacks going. With Thrawn, it's mostly single fire damage when you get to him. And then Chopper, we tried to make him as fast as possible with what Whatever mods we had so we gave him a speed set and we try to make him a little bit more durable with a health set again these aren't even the optimal mods that's what i had to work with because i wanted to have so many turns so we could try to keep throwing out basics throwing out random buffs to our team and of course we want to try to reduce our cooldowns on some of our allies but i'm gonna let you guys relive the moment that'll forever be remembered in the archives of the empire how the grand admiral director of the video gaming division is far superior than grand admiral thrawn himself thank you for watching like comment down below and more importantly enjoy the rest of the show gary hit it we are unlocking thrawn today we are unlocking thrawn today it's going to happen it's unfortunate i gotta go through freaking three waves you know what all right i'm just gonna put some auto oh it's going to happen it's gonna happen guys i'm feeling it that was that was our first attempt it went pretty well zeb i think zeb dying was kind of unfortunate if we had zeb i think he would have had that in the bag in the bag roll it again you know let's play it play the song palpy let's go ahead and roll that honey where is it where is it at where is that palpatine where you at baby palpatine where'd you go there you are all right oh, it's gonna happen we're gonna we're, un we're unlocking him today you can lose kanan but not zeb yeah we need zeb 1000 percent we need to make sure zeb sticks around with us all right, you guys got this. Come on. Just let, let me just speed run to the final wave. Let's do it. All right. Come on. No, get rid, get rid of these guys first. No, come on. 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 There we go. Uh, over here. Over here. Over here. Come on. Give me some counters. Over here. Oh, no AOE. All right. Come on. Let's... We got to unlock Thrawn today. No screwing around, chat. No screwing around. No, 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 no. Over here, over here, over here. Let's go. Come on. Get him out. Get, get him. There we go. Next up, get Magnus out. Perfect. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right. Come on. Big hit. All right. Pulling it off cooldown. Pulling it off cooldown. Or auto. Let's do it. Oh! All right. All right, we got to get Derek's out of here. Let's go. Big hit. One. No, we need double tap, baby. Double tap. No, just don't use that. Just come on. Get him out. Get him out. Ah. All right, fine. That works too, I guess. All right, we got to start getting ready for next round. There we go. He's gone. All right, we got to get ready. Just do basics here. No specials. No specials. All right, that's fine. Just do basic. No heal. Oh, come on, baby. You got to heal. All right, now can you heal? Come on, we're trying to stall. Heal, heal. Come on, heal him up. No, don't kill him off yet. Come on, heal him. There we go. All right. Bought ourselves a little bit of time. All right, hold on. We need Thrawn music going into this last wave. All right, baby, crank this up. You feel that cold, tingling sensation rushing down your spine. You're about to go up against the Grand Admiral. Maybe not as daunting as the Grand Admiral direct the video gaming division here at the Galactic Empire. Home to Kyber Club up in 20 February for one extra hour. One extra day of parting heart. Aboard the biggest and deadliest stars. So where the polygons are just simply beyond your imagination and basic comprehension. But nonetheless, Thrawn is a force you don't want to mess with. 
Hit him, let's do this. <sighs> Look at that slick hair. Doesn't have the suave like me, but man, he can still be a slick boy, let me tell you. All right. We need to get around this taunt ASAP. Isn't that right, Thrawn? Here we go. All right, no fracture yet. Counter attack. Oh, not a lot. Oh, boy. Okay, wait, let's get around this. Okay. Oh, man. We can take him out, though. All right, let's clean up Hera. We got to clean up Hera. Let's get rid of the Stormtrooper. All right. Oh, come on. Let's get rid of this. There we go. That's fine. We're going to get rid of him. Let's get some Terminator to Hera. Turn meter Hera, let's go. All right, doors are open. Can we get a daze on Thrawn? That'd be fantastic. But you know what? We got to work on these guys first. Go after the Death Troopers. Big hit. Big hit. Almost there. No heal. Fantastic. No, Hera, stay with me, girl. All right. Let's get rid of Death Trooper number one. Okay. Let's get a taunt up here. Death Trooper number two. All right. Throw those rocks. No! All right, get him out. All right, we're going all in, baby. Ah! Just get him out. Come on. Let's do it. Come on. Yes. Come on. Sweep, sweep, sweep. No scope, reduce cooling down. All right, he's gone. We need to get days. Yes, let's go. Yes, you're mine. You're gonna be mine today, Thrawn. I am the superior Grand Admiral. Yeah. Let's go. Days again. Big hits. Let's go. We're not done yet, Thrawn. I'm gonna make sure that I'm done. You're gonna wish you never showed your face to the Empire. Oh boy, he's gonna lose our fracture. He's gonna lose his taunt any moment now. Just do basic. All right, come on. Taunt again, fracture him. Big hit right here. Let's go. Daze him right now. Yes! Ladies and gentlemen, Kongans and Droids. Thrawn is now in our roster, and we're making so many big moves. And I gotta say, although I am a little bit upset at Capital Games for the beginning part of this stream, by far the double shard drops have been fantastic. If I was a new player, this is by far one of the best times to play Galaxy of Heroes. Getting two legendaries in three weeks, and I have almost a seven star team. In three weeks, barely an inconvenience, that is right. Oh, man, 
It is great to be in the Empire today, ladies and gentlemen. 